So guess what? Now you guys can print off a gun, take it home, shoot it at anybody because it's legal. What's up you guys? I'm Landon Dallas Singh and this is Dave Alfo. Howdy hoody hoo ha hoo. And welcome to I.O. where we overload you with information. And man, I think we got a crazy story for you today. They test fired the first 3D printed gun. I don't understand this. What do you mean? Okay, 3D printed gun. Maybe I'll have to break down just for you. So this is brand new technology. It's still in the works. What it is is you can download these images and you can go to stuff like Staples, print off whatever you want, and guess what? It works now for firearms. Whoa, th there's no way. We're talking about gun control and controlling the amount of guns we have. And now, Dave, you're telling me that I can go to Staples, print off a gun from the computer, mold it, and go there and get it printed off? For those of you guys who have no idea what we're talking about, and I am just so confused right now, let's look at some pictures. So this picture right here is just a plastic gun. This guy is totally holding a plastic gun that he just printed off on the computer, and he's now holding it, and it can actually shoot some bullets. Yeah, that's right. You could go to Defense Distributed, download the image, go to Staples, print it off. It's plastic. It looks like a toy. And yeah, firing guns. I wonder how far you can actually like shoot it. It's like it's paper. Can it can shoot it? No, it, well, it's plastic. But to be perfectly honest, I don't know that. If you check out their video, to me, it even actually kind of looks fake. Don't look at the way they fire the gun. It looks like the sound is kind of important. No, well, when you were telling me about this story, like a, a printed gun, I was like, what are you talking about, Dave? Get it together. And the thing that just has me totally mind blown is that this thing is totally legal, so anyone can own guns now? Yeah, it might be legal. However, Congressman Steve Israel said that there was a law placed in 2003 that goes all the way to 2013. It states the fact that you, as a citizen, cannot build anything that cannot be detected in an airport to be put on airplanes. So obviously right now, there's raised so many concerns about creating this gun. If you can get into an airport and get through those metal detectors somehow with a firearm, that has to be illegal. See, obviously, me being Canadian, I don't really care much for this technology, and I think it should be illegal. I don't know, what do you think? I think this is just so stupid. We're trying to control the amount of guns, but wait, some clever guy came up with a way to create plastic guns that is probably so damn cheap to make. Go to Staples, get like the precise molding you want, you know, get the best gun you want. I personalized this gun, and it's easy accessible by anybody now, which is so ridiculous. And the worst part is, is it looks like a toy, so police officers are gonna have a hard time figuring out what is toys and what is a real weapon. Exactly. Can you imagine kids picking that damn thing up and like shooting it at you and you're just pretending, ah, don't shoot me. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. Oh, I just killed a kid. Oh, that's great. So I wanna know, what do you guys think? Is this the most stupidest thing that you guys ever heard of? Plastic guns? Is this our new future that everybody is able to make guns, shoot guns, and own guns? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you guys want to follow more of IO, you guys can't get enough of us, go to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.